Hello beautiful people, um, it's Charles again. Um, today we'll be talking about my drawing, um, you know, the actual process that you know went into it and uh, how you know I put it, almost everything together. Um, so this artwork entirely, well like my last video, um, it basically opened my mind into like you know looking into major things and different things entirely like it pushed me into thinking if I could actually make a career out of it um since it was my first um I wouldn't say my first piece but it was yeah it was my first piece um hyper realistic piece um and I thought about it and I was working through it first I watched some videos from um my mentor on Jono John O'Dry um, is his name. You can check out his work. He has some amazing work. Um, I, I, I checked out his videos. I've been following him for a long time. So I checked out his videos and I saw like, you know, some videos and some things that I was like, wow, you know, and and to be honest, I was, I was really, 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 really intrigued by the way he actually moved paper and pencil on, you know, and the way he created his lines, the amount of detail he put into his stuff. So then I looked into people like Kevin Okafo, um, people like Arinze, people, you know, people. I, I really then decided, okay, yeah, this is this is a very, 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 very time-consuming, um, time-consuming, time-consuming indie. In the bini, in the biningi. This is a very, very, very time-consuming uh, side hustle, I would say, or very, very um, time-consuming thing to you know partake in because you end up either losing it, um, losing it in the sense that you end up really um, losing time and sleep and things like that so it basically plays on your mentality but since you're doing it because you love the stuff and you really really love it uh it basically shortens it feels like you shorten the time um so initially when i first started i uh tried to copy him where i basically put down paper and you know wet the paper and all that the reason why i did that was because i wanted to feel like I wanted to try to feel the things that he did and how, you know, basically like his work is dark and mine is light or whatever. I don't like that comparison because I tried my best to stray away from the dark part due to the fact that um, different people with different um, styles or different people with different things. Like, so my very first piece was talking about um, joy basically uh, i call this this one this piece uh the Everla everlasting joy well basically everlast um it's a friend of mine actually uh she is a model uh her instagram will be in the description and if it's not then this message is to her fight me uh, but the thing about it is when i looked into it and i looked into the art itself I've had people like um, one of my uncles, who's a very, very, very good artist in Nigeria. Um, his name is Biodo Malayo. Um, he he pushed me into thinking outside the box and saying he would look at some of my artwork back then that I would think was like the best. I would be like, oh my God, my artwork could be framed in like the White House or whatever. And he's like, it's not done. It's not ready. Go back, do more. This is not good enough. This, and to be honest, when I looked at it back then, I was I felt like he hated me because I thought he was just doing it like out of spite, you know. But when I sat back down and I would look at the work he created, the massive things he creates with paint, I basically this I was like. I want to get to that level, but every time I tried to paint, it never used to work out. Um, I do know how to use it to a point where everyone, if I'm doing cartoons or whatever, I was exposed to it. He showed me, you know, 
with the loose of using it and how to maneuver with everything. But um, at some point, I decided I just want to stick to graphite, stick to lead, stick to charcoal. Then he told me, that's too many fields to pick. You have to pick one. I know it sounds weird that that's too many fields to pick, but you have to pick one when it's just the medium is just black and white. But using graphite versus charcoal are two different things entirely because one disperses more on paper and the other um, just flows depending on what kind of paper you use too. So there's a lot of things that um, a lot of like different factors that come into play when when you're talking about like you know art pieces and what to do and what not to do things to use things not to use it's, it's a lot um then after that uh i obviously had to create a little time loop of you know when the piece was created from top from you know the start where i got things done i got tired where one hand would get tired and the other hand takes over you know things like that um it just basically i started feeling the the um, emotion of joy you know i started like connecting with my pieces i i connected with this piece because um i started feeling this joy in me to want to see the end result so it basically pushed me to a different level you know of creation i had to go into it like it was a thing i had to like i have to get done by by force it has to be done now you know i had to really really push myself past the normal um you know thing meanwhile i was going to work every day and also being in school every day so you know it was it was really really time consuming that's on its own i mean it's a smaller piece than i would like it to be but it was really time consuming on its own being that is my first piece or whatever um so yeah it was it was it was nice another nice experience uh at the end when everything came together it was like wow like this is actually created this is here well if you like this video um i want to see more of my pieces uh the link to the next video would be up here last time i know i was doing all this but i think it's over here here it should be up on this side and also um please don't forget to like and subscribe um it really helps the channel out in such a great way you can share it too please so um you know it really helps out my channel thank you guys for the support i will see you in the next video bye bye little time loop of like okay especially this piece can you tell your dog to shut up? Sorry about that. <laughs> so I sorry, I have very very weird neighbors. They just keep turning on their cars and everything right now. Like, where are you going? <laughs>